the books that were added in the month of february i bought from the kolkata international book fair as you can see that my book hauls slash book edition announcement for a whole lot of previous months are left so that's what we are going to do today hello everyone welcome back to the blue book library this time we are doing the book haul for the month of february i know it's june end but we are still doing february this first book is none other than the dune by frank herbert this book is now a major motion film and i'm trying to finish this book before i see the movie but it seems like it's going to be a heck of a task just looking by the volume dune is a science fiction it is set on the desert planet arahis it is a story of a boy named paul led to the noble family tasked with ruling an inhospitable world where the only thing of value is the spice melange a drug capable of extending life and enhancing consciousness and it is coveted across the universe for a price worth killing for when house atreides is betrayed the destruction of paul's family will set the boy on a journey towards a destiny greater than he could have ever imagined and as he evolves into the mysterious man he will bring to fruition human minds most ancient unattainable dream the second book is the boat die at the end actually i had no idea what this book is about i just chose this book because of its shining like way brighter than most of the books and so i decided to buy this one so here goes the boat die at the end by adam silvera on september 5th a little after midnight death cast calls meteor torres and rufus emetrio to give them some bad news they're going to die today Matthew and Rufus are total strangers but for different reasons they are both looking to make a new friend on their end day. The good news there's an app for that. It's called The Last Friend and through it Rufus and Matthew are about to meet up for one last great adventure to live a lifetime in a single day. Hope this is exciting. Our third book is The Vanishing Half by Brit Bennett. I was contemplating about buying this book for a very long time and I finally added this into my cart and bought it. I was very much attracted by the dark suspenseful summary. I am hoping that it will get you hooked for the same reason as well. So, here goes. Stella and Desire are identical twins, growing up together in the small southern black community until at age 16 they run away. Years later, everything about their lives is different. the families community and racial identities one sister lives with a black daughter in the same southern town she once tried to escape the other sister secretly passes as white and her husband knows nothing of her past still separated by many miles and just as many lies the fates of the twins remain intertwined what will happen in the next generation when their own daughter storylines intersect Our fourth book sounds funny. I mean just listen to this. The 100 year old man who climbed out of the window and vanished. How can how can you pick a book of this name and then put it down? Sitting quietly in his room in an old people home, Alan Carlson is waiting for a party he doesn't want to begin. His 100th birthday party to be precise. The mayor will be there, the press will be there, but as it turns out Alan will not. Escaping through the win- bedroom window in the flower bed, Alan makes his getaway. And so begin his unlikely journey involving criminals, several murderers, a suitcase full of cash and incompetent police. As he escapes unfolds, Alan's earlier life is revealed, a life in which remarkably he played a key role behind the scenes in some of the monumentous events of the 20th century. Our last book has made a whole bunch of people weep, cry, sob, wail, whimper, snivel and so much more. Basically, the book says, read it and weep. The book is none other than A Little Life 
by Anya Yanagihara. When four classmates from a small Massachusetts college moved to New York to make their way, they broke an ambition. This kind, handsome William, an aspiring actor, JB, a quick witted, sometimes cruel Brooklyn born painter seeking entry to the art world, Malcolm, a frustrated architect at a prominent firm, and withdrawn, brilliant, enigmatic Jude, who serves as the center of gravity. Over the decades, the relationships deepen and darken, tinged by addiction, success, and pride. Yet the greatest challenge each comes to realize is Jude himself. By midlife, a terrifyingly talented litigator, yet an increasingly broken man. His mind and body scarred by what he fears is a degree of trauma that he'll not be unable to overcome. But that will define his life forever. Here are our five books that have been added to our recollection. These books are available in our library. You can check them out and rent them as you please if you liked anyone. And if you are not able to find them on our website, you can also uh, message us on Instagram or Facebook page. The links are given in the uh, bio. Hope you liked it and see you next time. Bye.